Let's talk about something real. Hard times. Difficulties, obstacles, trials, these are part and parcel of the human experience. We all face them, each and every one of us. Whether it's a toxic job that drains your spirit every single day, or a messy breakup that leaves you feeling emotionally shattered, or maybe just a general feeling of being lost in life. You may wake up one day and realize that you don't recognize the person you've become, or you're unsure of the path you are currently on. You might feel like you're drifting aimlessly without a clear destination in sight. It's during these times that life feels the heaviest. It feels like a burden, a struggle, a constant uphill climb. And these hard times can take so many different forms. Perhaps it's financial hardship, the daily grind of trying to make ends meet. Or it could be emotional hardship, grappling things like depression, anxiety or loneliness. And let's be honest with each other, navigating those moments of hardship can often feel like trying to steer a tricycle through a hurricane. It feels impossible, like you're constantly fighting against a force much bigger and much stronger than you. It can make you feel like giving up. It can make you question your worth and your ability to overcome the challenges that you're facing. It can fill you with doubt, with fear, with uncertainty. But here's the thing. It's during these hard times that we truly get the opportunity to grow, to learn, to evolve. It's when we're forced to confront our fears, our weaknesses, our insecurities. When we get the chance to prove to ourselves that we are stronger than we may have ever imagined. Despite the struggle, despite the pain, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Always. It may not seem like it in the moment, especially when you're knee-deep in the muck of it all. But trust me, there's always a way out. And hey, don't worry, I'm here to help you weather the storm. If you find yourself in a situation that's compromising your self-worth, whether it's a toxic job, a draining relationship, or a friendship that's gone sour, don't be afraid to walk away. In life, we often find ourselves in places where we are expected to compromise, to adjust, to downplay our values and needs. But why should your self-esteem be sacrificed? Consider the toxic job, for instance, where you might be underappreciated, overworked and underpaid. Where you may constantly be facing the pressure to perform, but without any recognition or reward. The long hours, the office politics, the unrelenting stress, it's all chipping away at your self-worth bit by bit. It's not healthy and it's certainly not fair. Similarly, let's look at the draining relationships that may be plaguing your life. It could be a romantic partner who doesn't respect you, a family member who always belittles your achievements, or a friend who only contacts you when they need something. In these relationships, you're giving more than you're receiving emotionally and mentally. This imbalance can take a toll on your self-esteem, your happiness, and your overall well-being. And then comes the friendship that's gone sour. A good friend should lift you up, not bring you down. They should be a source of comfort and inspiration, not stress and disappointment. When a friendship transforms into a source negativity, it devalues your worth and can even impact your mental health. In all these scenarios, the common factor is that they're compromising your self-worth. But remember, it's not your duty to bear the burdens of others at the expense of your own happiness and well-being. You're allowed to prioritize yourself. So if you need to, seriously, just pack your bags and head for the hills. But hey, if you're knee-deep in a challenging phase that's testing your limits, it might be time for a little self-reflection. It could be a professional challenge or a personal one. It could be something that's been lingering in the back of your mind for weeks, months, or even years. But whatever it is, it's here now, and it's pushing you to your absolute limits. It's important to remember that this is a normal part of life. Challenges come and go, and they often serve as catalysts for personal growth and transformation. They force us to reevaluate our priorities, reassess our choices, and reconsider our paths. They compel us to question our beliefs, confront our fears, and face our insecurities. So, here's a question to ponder. Why did you end up here? This isn't a judgment, nor is it a criticism. It's merely a reflection. It's about understanding the root cause of your predicament. What series of choices, circumstances, or events you to this point in your life? Is there a pattern that you can discern? A recurring theme or a common thread? Moreover, is there something you need to change about yourself or your approach to life? Are there habits, attitudes, or mindsets that are holding you back? 
Are there behaviors that are undermining your potential or limiting your growth? The purpose of this reflection isn't to dwell on the or blame yourself for the past. Rather, it's about identifying the things you can improve upon and committing to make those changes. It's about recognizing your agency and your ability to shape your own destiny. Take a deep breath. Remember, life is a journey and not a race. There is no deadline or time limit for self-improvement. It's an ongoing process filled with ups and downs, victories and defeats, triumphs and setbacks. Trust me, a little introspection can go a long way. It's not about finding all the answers right away. It's about starting the process of self-discovery, the stage for personal growth and self-improvement. It's about creating the space for change, for transformation and for evolution. It's about learning to live in a state of continuous growth rather than a state of constant struggle. It's about embracing the journey and finding joy in the process, not just the outcome. Trust me, a little introspection can go a long way. Now, once you've got a handle on things, it's time to make a plan and tackle those challenges head on. You see, the very first step towards surmounting these challenges is having a firm grip and awareness of the situation at hand. It is with this profound understanding that you can begin to build the blueprint of your action plan. Remember, hurdles are inevitable in this journey we call life, but every obstacle presents us with an opportunity to rise and shine, to prove our mettle. The challenges you face are not to break you, but to shape you into a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. One way to do this is by switching up your routine. It is easy to fall into the trap of monotony, but breaking the patterns is often a crucial component in overcoming challenges. Think of it as tweaking the variables in your life algorithm. Maybe it's taking a different route to work or perhaps it's introducing a new hobby into your life. It's about making small changes that can have a significant impact on your perspective towards challenges. On that note, adjusting your attitude is another essential step. Too often we are controlled by our mindset. A negative attitude can act as a roadblock on our path to success. On the other hand, a positive attitude can transform challenges into stepping stones. So adopt a can-do attitude, face every challenge with a grin, and remember, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Lastly, setting some killer goals is a surefire way to overcome challenges. A clear, well-defined goal acts like a shining beacon, guiding you through the murky waters of uncertainty. It is a reminder of what you are fighting for, keeping you motivated and focused. So arm yourself with these tools and strategies. Venture into the battlefield of life with determination and courage. Embrace the challenges that come your way and use them as a catalyst for your growth. Get ready to hustle, my friends. But here's the deal. Don't sweat the small stuff, especially when it comes to failures. We all encounter stumbling blocks at one point or another. It's an inevitable part of life's journey. It's something that we all share, regardless of where we come from or where we're headed. Trust me, we've all been there. We have all had moments of self-doubt where we questioned our abilities, our decisions, our journey. Each of us has experienced a time where failure seemed to be the only outcome, where the light at the end of the tunnel seemed to grow dimmer with each passing minute. It's in these moments of uncertainty that we must remember we are not alone in our struggle and struggle, as much as we despise it, is essential. It's part of the growth process. It's not about the number of times we fall, it's about the number of times we pick ourselves up and keep going. It's about resilience, persistence, determination. These are the attributes that separate the successful from the unsuccessful. The key is to dust yourself off, learn from each setback, misstep. Understand that these are not failures, but opportunities for improvement. Each mistake is a lesson to be learned, a chance to grow, to evolve. It's this shift in perspective, this positive outlook, that can be the difference between success and failure. And remember, you're not defined by your failures, but by your ability to overcome them. They're not an indication of your worth, but a testament to your strength. They're not a measure of your limits, but a showcase of your potential. Keep pushing forward, even when the odds seem stacked against you. Keep fighting, even when it seems easier to give up. Keep believing in yourself, even when others might not. Keep striving for success, even when failure seems inevitable. 
No matter how many times you fall, each time you rise, you rise stronger, you rise smarter, you rise braver, you rise more prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. Failure is just another stepping stone on the path to success. It's not a roadblock, but rather a detour, a redirection towards a better, more successful you. It's a necessary part of the journey, not the end destination. Remember that and keep moving forward. No matter what, keep pushing towards your dreams. Because dreams, after all, are what make life worth living. And speaking of moving forward, it's vital to emphasize the importance of relying on your allies in life. Those special friends, acquaintances, and even mentors who have journeyed with you along this meandering path. These are the people who have witnessed your highs and lows, laughed with you in your joyous moments, and comforted you during your seasons of sorrow. Don't dismiss the power of these connections, these bonds that tie us together. They offer a cradle of support, a safety net in times of uncertainty. Too often we feel we must bear our burdens alone, shoulder the weight of uncertainty and fear solely on our weary shoulders. But this is a falsehood, an untrue we tell ourselves. No one is an island and it's okay to lean on others. Sometimes all it takes is a listening ear, a compassionate heart, or a fresh perspective. It could be a friend who has an uncanny knack for seeing the world differently, or an acquaintance who's been through a similar struggle. Their experiences, their wisdom and their empathy can give you a new perspective, a new understanding on your circumstance. For instance, consider a situation when you are looking at a painting too closely. All you see is a blur of colours and shapes that don't make much sense. Now, imagine if someone pulls you back, gives you some distance, and suddenly, the whole picture comes focus. That's what a fresh perspective can do. We all have our blind spots, areas in our lives where we can't see clearly, and that's where the right friend, with their unique viewpoint, can change everything. They can help us look at our situation from a different angle, spot opportunities where we only see obstacles, and find a way out where we only see a dead end. So, don't hesitate to reach out. Break down those self-imposed barriers Put aside those fears of being a burden. Remember, your vulnerability can also encourage others to open up, creating a ripple effect of empathy and understanding. You'd be surprised how much people are willing to lend a helping hand. And finally, always remember, this too shall pass. This simple sentence holds a world of wisdom within its syllables. It's a mantra that has helped millions of people throughout history face adversity and challenges of all kinds. It reminds us that just as the seasons change, so do our life. No matter how dire the situation seems, no matter how insurmountable the obstacle, it's important to hold on to the understanding that the present moment and its difficulties are temporary. Now take a moment to reflect on your journey. Remember all the adversities, all the obstacles you've had to overcome. Recall the times when you felt like giving up, but you didn't. Each of those moments seemed like the end of the world at the time, didn't they? But you weathered the... You pushed through the darkness and found your way back into the light. Each challenge, each setback, they had their moment, they demanded to be seen and felt. They each stood in the spotlight, casting long shadows that seemed to stretch on forever. But in the grand scheme of things, they were but fleeting spectacles. They came into your life, rattled your peace, but eventually they faded away. Like every sunset giving way to the silence of the night, they passed, and you? You kept on moving forward. You walked through the rain, you pushed against the wind, you climbed mountains. You showcased the remarkable resilience that is inherent to the human spirit. So, when times get tough, when life pushes you down, remember to take a deep breath. Close your eyes and remind yourself of your strength, your resilience, your ability to overcome. Remind yourself that you've faced tough times before and emerged victorious. You've got this as you've had it before. No matter what you're going through, remember this. You are stronger than your challenges. Keep on shining. Keep on being the beacon of hope and resilience that you are. Keep on because remember, this too shall pass. Well, folks, that's a wrap for today's chat. We've covered quite a bit and I hope you're walking away with some valuable insights. Always remember, life is this incredible journey, unscripted and unpredictable, filled with its fair share of highs and lows. Amidst unrest and chaos, there's also joy, love and countless opportunities for growth. It's a roller coaster of experiences that makes the voyage worthwhile. 
Life's unpredictable nature can be challenging at times, no doubt. But remember, it's in these moments of adversity where we discover our true potential. Every storm we face, every obstacle we overcome is a testament to our strength, our courage and our resilience. It's not the smooth sailing that makes us who we are, but rather how we navigate in the face of gushing winds and violent waves. It's these difficult times that shape us, mould us and truly our character. Regardless of the challenges you're facing, remember, you're stronger than you think. You have the power to rise above any adversity that comes your way. You possess the strength of a mighty oak, the resilience of a bamboo, and the courage of a lion. Life has a way of testing us, of throwing us into the deep end. And it's in these moments that we find out just how capable we are. So stay strong, stay resilient, and always believe in your ability to weather any storm. Equip yourself with the armor of determination and you'll find that you can tackle any difficulty. Remember, storms don't last forever and it's always calm as storm. Embrace the process, learn from your experiences and you'll come out stronger on the other side. Until next time, keep pushing forward, keep believing in yourself and never forget to shine your light even in the darkest of times. Your journey is unique and you have the power to make it remarkable. Let the world see your light and keep shining bright. Bye for now.